Are you interested in using the Berlin public transit system when you are in Berlin and you're not sure which pass or ticket you should purchase while you're here? Well, in this video, I'm hopefully going to answer all of your questions. This video is in sections, so feel free to skip ahead by clicking on the timestamps to the sections that interest you the most. Berlin's public transit system is a massive and extensive enterprise. It consists of the U-Bahn, the S-Bahn, what many people would refer to as the subway, plus trams and buses. It also consists of suburban commuter regional trains, the RB or RE red trains. The only type of trains not included are Intercity Express, ICE, and Intercity IC trains, which connect major cities in Germany. It also consists of a system of public ferries. Berlin's transportation system as a whole operates day and night. U and S-Bahn trains, as well as buses, generally run every 10 to 20 minutes during the day and in the center, trains run even more frequently. At night, the service is a bit more limited, with waits of 20 to 30 minutes between trains and buses. On weekdays, S-Bahn and U-Bahn trains run from approximately 4.30 a.m. until 1 a.m. the next day. But there are certain night buses that take on the U-Bahn routes. On weekends, both run 24 hours. I have a video explaining the modes of transportation and some tips on using the public transit system in another video, which I will link to in the description below. Let's start off with an explanation of how Berlin's fare system works. Berlin's transportation network is divided into three fare zones. Zone A, where the overwhelming majority of tourist sites are located, makes up the center of the map. Zone A is what is considered Berlin's center, inside the Ringbahn, or the circle line in English. The Ringbahn is a circular S-Bahn line that is a good reference point for understanding the Berlin public transportation system. Zone B, the grayish-blue shaded area, surrounds Zone A and includes the rest of Berlin. Zone C covers the greater Berlin area, including parts of the state of Brandenburg. If your accommodation is rather central and you're looking to see the main sites, the typical sites in the city, an A-B ticket usually suffices. However, there are three reasons a visitor might purchase an A-B-C or A-B-C ticket or pass. First, if you are traveling from or to Berlin Brandenburg Airport, you will at least need to have Zone C on your ticket or travel pass to and from the airport. I have a video covering how to get to the city center from Berlin's airport that I will leave a link to in the description below. The other two main reasons are that you would like to visit Sachsenhausen concentration camp or to visit the city of Potsdam. It's also possible to buy an AB zone pass and then add a zone C ticket to it on a ride by ride basis. And with that, let's get into tickets, prices, and passes. There are many ticket types that you can purchase, including single tickets and four packs, but there are also passes that give you unlimited travel and transfers. One thing to note is that children five and younger always travel for free no matter what type of fare an adult pays for. Since you are probably spending all day sightseeing, it's almost certainly worth getting an unlimited travel pass. Listen up, give yourself one less thing to worry about on your trip. Buying a pass means a one-time purchase and a one-time validation, and that's it. If you are planning to use Berlin's mass transit at least three times in a day, you will probably be better served to have a pass. Also, each adult pass lets you bring up to three children aged six to 14 for free. Single tickets, which I will talk about shortly, do not give you this bonus. Even if you aren't sure, having an unlimited pass equals ease of mind and no standing in front of ticket machines trying to figure out how to buy a ticket. Let your brain have a holiday too. BVG passes can be for one day, seven days, or for one month. We recommend that you consider one of the tourist discount passes, such as the Berlin Welcome Card or the Berlin City Tour Card. These tourist passes include unlimited transit rides for just a slightly higher price, but you also get numerous discounts on popular tours and attractions. You can buy a two, three, four, five, or six day version of both discount passes. There are a few other discount passes in addition to these two, and several that left the market during the pandemic and may return to Berlin in the future. We have a blog post and a video explaining these passes, which I will link to in the description below. You may have also heard about the Deutschland ticket. Essentially, this is a monthly pass that allows you to travel on any mode of public transportation, 
other than ICE or IC trains throughout Germany for one flat rate. At the time of filming, that rate is just 49 euro. This is definitely the option you would want to consider if you are visiting any other cities in Germany. A few caveats though. First, the ticket is only for you. You can't take anyone else aged six or older with you. They will need their own ticket. Also, it's a subscription pass that is monthly and starts on the first day of each month. You will need to cancel the subscription when you no longer need it. And you have to subscribe online by the 20th day of the month before the subscription starts. Basically, you will need to do a bit of pre-planning to utilize this option. Also, this is an experimental pass, so it's unknown if it will be here in a few years in the future. I know, it's confusing. Leave a comment if you have a question about it. I'll also leave a link to the Frequently Asked Questions section of the BVG's website for you to get more information. There are many ticket types that you can purchase, including single tickets and four packs. Each ticket is for a one way and up to two hours. Children aged six to 14 ride for a reduced rate, as do senior citizens, and children under six ride for free. For occasional travel, the single ticket is fine, but it's probably better to buy the four trip tickets, which are actually four single tickets purchased at a discount. There are cheaper short trip tickets called Kurzstreckerkarten which allow you to ride the S-Bahn, U-Bahn for three stops and buses and trams for six stops and cost a bit less than regular tickets. However, the savings may not be worth the risk if you decide you want to travel further. You can also purchase extension tickets. Most visitors to Berlin purchase either AB zone tickets or AB zone passes and then purchase extension tickets to travel to and from zone C as mentioned previously, to visit Sachsenhausen concentration camp or to visit the city of Potsdam. So, for example, if you hold a 72-hour Berlin welcome card with an AB zone travel pass and you would like to travel to Potsdam for one day, you could just purchase two Zone C ticket extensions, one for your trip there and one for your return journey. And for just a little bit more, you can get a full day extension ticket. With that all said, I recommend just purchasing the ABC ticket whether you get a one or seven day pass or you buy one of the tourist passes. Usually it's just a few euros more, maybe one or two, takes all the headache out of planning. That's the way you should go. Bicycles require tickets as well. You can get a single ticket or a daily pass to bring a bike onto regional trains, the S-Bahn and U-Bahn, and on trams marked with bicycle symbols. Do yourself another favor and download one of the city's public transport apps. Before I recommend some apps, let me clear up something that confuses many visitors and locals. There are two mass transit authorities operating in Berlin. The one I've mentioned, the BVG, or the Berlin Mass Transit Agency, and there's the VBB, the Berlin Brandenburg Mass Transit Agency. The BVG runs the U-Bahn bus and tram systems operating in zones A, B, and C. The VBB runs the S-Bahn and regional trains running through zones A, B, and C and beyond. They both have their own ticket systems and machines. The BVG are yellow and found mostly at U-Bahn stations and some tram stops. The VBB are red and found mostly at S-Bahn stations and regional train stations. The main practical difference is that the VBB offers tickets outside of the Greater Berlin areas of Brandenburg. Both ticketing systems are integrated, so as long as you purchase and validate a proper ticket, it doesn't matter from which service you purchase it from. With that said, we recommend using the BVG apps if you are staying in the BVG area. The BVG has three apps, which all have English language options. You will need to register with any of the three and set up payment, but this is pretty easy and relatively straightforward. The first is the BVG ticket app. It's strictly for purchasing and validating single tickets and travel passes, including the tourist passes I mentioned before. The second app is the BVG travel app. This one focuses on trip planning, departures, and maps, but it can also handle ticket and pass purchases and validation. This app is very popular with members of our Berlin Travel Tips Facebook group. The third app is called Jelby. I prefer this one as a local. The Jelby app is similar to the previously mentioned app, but it also includes car sharing, taxis, e-scooters, bikes, and e-mopeds. 
there are a few things to keep in mind before riding. First, be sure to have a ticket and validate it before getting on an S-Bahn, U-Bahn, bus, or tram. If using an app, validation is the press of a button. Warning, tickets purchased in apps are usually set to buy and validate. If you are purchasing for a later date, be sure to uncheck the validation. If you're using paper tickets, there are small validation machines on the platforms next to the ticket machines where you can stamp your tickets to activate them. There are random ticket checks on public transit and the lads who check work on commission, so they won't care much that you just didn't know better. Getting caught without a ticket will cost you 60 euros or more and some hassle. So that's it for now. Check out our video on how to get to and from Berlin Brandenburg Airport or check out our playlist of Berlin videos and walking tours. And check out our in-person walking tours if you are coming to Berlin. See you in the next video. Tschüss.